How about Henry? I mean, you're the one who have to, um, kind of sent Eric to to City Hong Kong. Mm. Why? And and what is the vision even to, uh, in manifesting what um, Tony has even been to, uh, sharing with you to this we, part of the world? <laughs> We're not exiling him. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sending him to another paradise <laughs> to grow. <laughs> yes. yes. Well, it, it's a very natural um, decision because uh, when we look at the, the Asian um, landscape, um, Singapore, in terms of mental literacy, is actually, I would consider, the, the, the leader. Mm -hmm. Because we started that many years ago, mm -hmm. in 1995. Um, and so when I look at the landscape, I realize that in, in Hong Kong, and actually in, in parts of the southern coast of China, which is mm -hmm. very near to Hong Kong, there were very few people who were trained to actually take that knowledge and to go out there and teach it. And so Hong Kong, while it is in a, in a lot of ways similar to Singapore, uh, there are some ways that are not similar, and that is the you know, global mental literacy is not so strong. And so that's one of the reasons. Right. And one of the things that we did, which I thought, or Eric did, which I thought that is uh, very wonderful, was that we managed to engage um, uh, not just the Hong Kongers, but also some of the people in southern China, in Hong Kong. Mm. And when they learn that, it's amazing because, you know, in, in Singapore or even in other parts of the world where the, the seminar or the workshop or the training ends at 5 o'clock and they go home at about 5, maybe 5.30, some of these people refuse to go home. Wow. <laughs> they will stay till 7, 8, 9. I remember one, one particular um, uh, event that we did. Um, it was in Guangzhou not too long ago and it was a Saturday. Mm. It was a Saturday night. And I look at my watch and I say, 6 o'clock, hmm, I want to go for dinner. <laughs> and they continue asking questions. Hmm. And 7 o'clock, I really want to go for dinner. And they're still asking questions. <laughs> and 8 o'clock, they were only let go at hmm. 9. And I thought, that's just unreal. Because in every wow. city, that, in other, they in were in other cities, yeah, we would be told to leave at mm. 5.30 because <laughs> they have parties to go to. Right. So it's that hunger for knowledge uh, and mm. I would say not just knowledge but intelligence because they, they realize probably for the first time in their life that as they learn mind mapping mm. that it is really an intelligent way of thinking. Right. Um, and when we talk to them about creativity they learn and they want to learn more right. about memory and they say, Wow, I never knew this. It's like uh, they have found the secret. Yes, exactly. Yes. Of liberating themselves. And you can see in their eyes, you yes. can see in the faces. It's like a Real kid, you know, yes. They're so amazed. So I mean, Eric, yeah. you know, coming yes. back to Eric, yeah. what are some of the examples that uh, you can share with us about how mind mapping, how how creativity, you know, how all these mental literacy programs are helping some of the organization that you have brought this training to? Okay, well, I would just want to add before the, uh, answering your question mm -hmm. is that whenever that to whenever Tony focus on a certain region. Mm that region of people, mm. nations, lights up. Mm. And like what we talk about, the focused mind working on something, and that something will become blossoming. Mm. Tony is doing that to the region that he travels. Mm. And every time he spends his time there, people will start to light up. Mm. And all the brains that, that are meeting him, hearing from him. And slowly when he leaves, the work is left for us mm. to follow up to, to get them into the habit of, of uh, mindfulness, thoughtfulness, uh, right thinking, um, so that they could continue this, this, uh, the brain work that they have been uh, set off with. And I would say that Tony has been a great gardener. I, I would use that term. Gardener. Because wow, we talk nice about a lot of planting of seeds. Mm -hmm. We talk about blossoming of uh, flowers, which are success that people have experienced. Uh, in, in Hong Kong and China, I, or even in Vietnam, my first trip, uh, so-called my first field work, was in Vietnam. And that has been uh, a very significant point in my life. Um, uh, because I have been in the uh, telecommunications industry. Mm. And in those industries, you, you tend to be so fast-paced. Uh, you have to keep up with technology always forgetting, for, forgetting sorry, um, what you've been uh, made to have and mm -hmm. this is your high-tech uh, organ. Mm -hmm. 
So, so when I joined uh, Henry, I start to feel that I'm learning something that is very, very benefiting to myself as well as mm. to my family and now my little girl. Mm. Um, in Vietnam, I, I have this experience of um, Tony um, meeting up with a small little girl who was uh, selling flowers. And we were going into a restaurant. We were late. We came out of a taxi and this small little girl with a bunch of flowers uh, walks to us and of course she wants to sell them, you know. And me being uh, mindful of time, I would say, uh, I'm sorry, we, we don't need the flowers. But Tony looks at this little girl not just as a person that is stopping him from getting into a very, very important meeting. Mm -hmm. uh, he looks at her as a small little brain, inquisitive, wanting uh, to push the flowers. But in another way, Tony stops and wants to engage with the brain. And I thought that was a very, very touching moment for mm. me. And he spends at least three to five minutes talking to the little brain, uh, asking her about the flowers. If I were to buy a flower, how much would it cost? Or if I were to take two flowers from you, would you give me five? Like playing around with the little girl. And in the end, when, when Tony leaves, he left a very important message to the girl is that Educating your brain is the most important point. Mm. Make sure that your parents uh, give you the opportunity to do so. Mm. And we bought the flowers and we walk into the meeting. He presented the flowers to the guests. And I thought it was a win-win situation. Right. He turned around the situation. He made it become so meaningful to the people around him. Not just to the little girl, but to me and to the guests. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much.